not a church. It's a social garden. Hallelujah. So give, tell your neighbor, give place to the word of God. So if you are the flipping Christian who wants power, who wants the prophetic, listen, the strongest level of the manifestation of the prophetic anointing is not in the point of names and phone numbers, it's the teaching of the word of God. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Please, you may open your Bibles uh, if our projector is not there. You may open your Bible. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Remember that the Bible began to speak about the scriptures, the authority of scriptures, the inspiration of scriptures, and the infallibility of scripture. He says, All scriptures. Are we there together, brethren? Are we there together? Oh, Jesus. Are we there together? I want to go. All scripture is given by inspiration of everybody of God and is profitable so the profitability of you who God has called to be an eagle is going to only find expression on the platform of the understanding the digesting and the application of the word of God that means if you are not applying the word of God your eagle cannot fly for instance I can call a prayer point so I'm going to pray tonight but I can call a prayer and then I say every power stopping my evil from flying down you can pray that prayer from now to tomorrow but if the word is not in you nothing can carry you oh hallelujah are you still following me? all scripture not only the sounds that is that there are some Christians it's only the sounds they read once they have a battle they say hey Psalm, Psalm 2 Psalm 91. So Christians even know the psalm they should use. It's not bad. But the entire Bible is more than the psalms. Are we together? It didn't say the psalms. It says all scripture. There are some Christians who only read the Old Testament. And this is Christians like that. They, are, they know they are doctors of Old Testament. But they don't know the New Testament. And there are other Christians who don't even have Bibles that contain the Old Testament. Their own Bible is starting from Matthew. You see some people already checking their Bible. So their own Bible starts from Matthew. Listen, you cannot understand the New Testament if you do not study the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament is a type and a shadow of what Jesus was come to, coming to manifest. So he says all scripture is given by the inspiration, the breath of God. And is profitable for your life and your destiny. Reproof, instruction in righteousness. Everything that the word of God brings to your spirit through the teaching of the word of God, sound doctrine is actually going to help you to discover your potential in God and then to be able to fulfill it. A lot of Christians are blind. Do you know that as far as the eagle is, if you remove the eyes, that's that's waste of life. Why? Because the eagle has strength. But a blind eagle is not different from a pigeon bear. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Yes, the Bible says they knew not, neither do you understand. It says they walk in darkness and the foundations of the earth are out, are out of force. That means they did not know and they did not understand. There is a knowing and there is an understanding that must come to our hearts. Once we come to know what God has already said about us in His Word and we respond to it, then your people can now begin to. The flapping of the wings without direction is a waste of energy. Speed is useless when destination has not been defined. Let's see scriptures now. Let me start teaching. Isaiah chapter number 40. A text for today's teaching. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. We will begin reading from verse 28. I'm going to teach just on four things tonight. I will pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. I will read from here because of time. Open your Bibles here. Have you not known? Have you not heard the everlasting God? The Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary, his understanding is unsearchable. Notice that scripture, sir, begins with a question mark. Is that correct? He says, Have you not? No, on the line, have you not? No, number two, have you not? Many years ago, I read the story of an eagle. I think that was when I was in hundred level. I read the story of an eagle. How that the eagle used to live in the midst of chickens. And every time they will go to the farm, and then 
they will get to the river, but the evil when he looks at the re- into the river, he doesn't see a chicken when he looks at it, he sees an evil. But when there is a lion or a lion, all the chickens run away to the bank and then he follows them. And he continued this activity for years. But in one day, the mother eagle that was flying flew over that river and the young eagle looked and said, I actually look like that one that is flying. And then the baby eagle, or the eaglet, began to flap his wings. And after a while, the chicken began to tell you, you cannot, you better don't try it. They came back to you around us. All of us are together here. But that eagle said, there is something on my inside that tells me that I am not like you. I may be associating with you. But my association with you is contrary to my ordination. And that day, that eagle decided that he was going to try to fly. Because the eagle saw another eagle flying, the possibilities on his inside was not being manifest. What does that mean? Have you not known? What you know about yourself determines to a large extent what you become in life. Knowledge is the foundation for reality. The Bible says, but we are beyond in as they the glory of God. We are metamorphosized. We are changed into the same thing that we behold. That means, if you behold yourself as a failure, even though your DNA is not the DNA of a failure, that's what you become. From Acts chapter 23 and 7, for as he did get in his heart. Remember, this Bible says, have you not known? As he did get in his heart. Listen, knowledge is the foundation for thoughts. You cannot just begin to think anything unless there is a knowledge that is passed across. For instance, if I say goat, as I said goat, some people will start thinking of Aaron Yoshubo. Another people will start thinking of best ballers in the world. Is that true? Now, the reason why you can think about it is because I just pass an information across to you. The quality of the word that you are able to receive and relate with determines the quality of the life that you are going to live. He says, from Acts chapter 23, verse 7, as he thinketh in his heart, so he is, or so is he. Eat and drink, see me unto you, but his heart is far from you. That means that your thoughts are actually products of the information you receive. He says, Have you not known? Listen, every time God asks a question, He's not looking for an answer. How many of you remember the three incommunicable attributes of God? Omnipresence, omnipotence, and omniscience. Not omniscience, alright? But omniscience. Now, God, as the omniscient one, does not have the capacity to improve on His knowledge. Oh, Jesus. I feel the teaching about it. Do you know that God cannot become better than He was yesterday? Uh uh-uh. How many of you know infinite form? Pastor Bola, do you know infinite form? Do you know infinite form used to have pro, light, and then the normal one? Do you know? Do you know one is always superior to the other one? What did they do? They were improving on the versions. Is that correct? If God can improve, He doesn't deserve to be worshipped. Most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious, thy great name with ancient of days. It's not really a good job because to even call him a good means he will go. But God, listen, God does not age, he's ageless, he's eternal. So he's actually any daddy, not a good job. Because when they finish, God still continues. Are we together here? That's why nothing is permanent except God. No situation is permanent except God. And you see Christians from this society are going to depression. It's not their fault. It's just that they don't or they are not home to know. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth that you know shall not die. Listen, you can know the truth and still not be set free. The proof that you know the truth is that you do the truth. It is the truth that you do that actually sets you free. Hallelujah. Have you not known? Number one, have you not known? So let me challenge us before I begin to share. 
or the characteristics of the evil. Does he not know? Who do you think that evil is? So if you think evil is that what you say on your book, one blind and white bear, and, and it can size your book. If you see a real eagle in the physical, you will run away. You say, I, I just saw a baby eagle, you look know? If you see real eagle, real eagle, not super eagles, the real eagle, you will run away. Result of it that the pinions and the weight of one mature eagle is, is almost two times longer than the hands of a man. Some people think it's just it's just flapping the wings. Eagles don't have time to be flapping the wings. They lock their wings and then they trust. They can enter into any kind of storm and they will not be afraid. Why? There is something that the eagle knows that many Christians don't know. Beauty, the DNA of an eagle is the ability to withstand storms. You have the Holy Ghost and you cannot withstand storms. There is a problem somewhere. Why? There is something you don't know. Satan always thrives on the ignorance of the saints. Satan always rules you because of your ignorance. Satan is not as powerful as your robot team has made him to be. That was something there is no power in the demonic kingdom. People say there is no power. It's not true. I went to preach one day in the crusade, sir. And I woke up in the morning and I was almost outside of the house. And people were crossing me. I was almost outside of the house. And then, the, so the next night, we go out to bring power. Listen. Life will not change just because of knowledge only. Even though he must begin with knowledge. The challenge with many Christians is that when they begin to pursue knowledge, knowledge pours up. The kind of knowledge that pours up is that knowledge that makes you not to be able to be teachable again. That knowledge that makes us feel we have already arrived is a dangerous knowledge. You will never grow like that. People carry Christian books and they are walking all over the street. They will never read that book. They will snap a picture of the book. But for five years, they know that book. And they are wondering why they are not growing. And they are saying, my spiritual life is back up. There is nothing that your spiritual life is back up. What you show is what you will read. Is that correct? Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's be sure. If we are together, stop. That will be a powerful life. You are with me. So number one, have you not know? We must give place to knowledge. You listen, you seek knowledge. David said, I rejoice at thy word as one who has found a great spoil. You know what that means? If you see five billion naira on the floor as we are going home tonight, how do you respond? See our sisters, they are so spiritual. I said, nah, I'm not sure the blood of Jesus and Is that what you will do? Is that what you will do? Say, blood of Jesus, I will pass. Will you pass? Uh-uh. Will you pass? Even, even that is it. May, may have to be carried. <laughs> Listen, David said, I rejoice at thy word. That means every time you have the opportunity to sit down with the word of God, that's the time your ego wants to look at itself. Who sent you that sign? Every time you continue to educate yourself on demonic things, Satan will begin to harass your life. You see people that they are always chasing them in the dream. There's an information, there's something they told them. Listen, if Satan is taking you in the dream and you have Jesus, you have the blood, you have the name, you have the anointing, you have the Holy Ghost, you have the sword of the Spirit, and you have angels, who should be taking you? <laughs> one time, many years ago, I know my daddy may not remember this, one time, many years ago, I don't know the day, one day they went for crossover, this Happy New Year program, in Christ Salvation Cross, one of our churches in Africa there. So that day I didn't follow, I hid. I shall hid to myself. They have moved with his bench. They have moved far. I didn't remember. So maybe that he thought I will join the church next to the house. I didn't go anywhere. I was sleeping. I was so happy. Yeah. And people were praying all around the house with me. I was sleeping. Then they began to beat me in the dream. Do you know they beat me in the dream and I felt it physically? Then I ran. Listen, I didn't know when I entered the church. Then I had to check. I hope I'm wearing something. I didn't even know when I was wearing something. Why? Because there is something about the demonic realm that if you continue to emphasize it too much, you will forget about who you really are. Have you not known? Number two, very quickly. Have you not heard? That's verse 28. What are you listening to? Last year, I had to mute a lot of people on my WhatsApp status. Why? What they are posting on their WhatsApp, it looks like they are updated. 
But listen, you are not up to date if you don't know God's will for your life. You are not up to date if you know how ah, 29 people just were just beheaded in Ibano. But you don't know what God has said about you today. Lord God Almighty, early in the morning I shall. How do you wake up early in the morning to update status? But your spirit man has not translocated. You are not, you are still in the same spot. When the Bible says, but we are looking as the glass of mirror of God, we are we are changed into the same the path of the just Thomas 14 is as the shining light that shines more and more onto the It's not a song, it's an understanding. Have you not heard? What are you listening to? People come to church to receive fire. If I say, you want the fire there? Take the fire. And then the road to receive the fire, pause. What is on their gadget is the fire extinguisher. The songs on their phone does not give fire. It is fire extinguisher. So you are only wasting the labor of the pastor. You are deceiving the, the greatest form of deception. It's not demonic deception, it's self-deception. When you tell yourself it's, it's working, and you know that you are the enemy of your own self, may you not become an enemy to yourself. Amen. You we have to be serious. What do you listen to? Who has your ears? The Bible did not speak about David. Joy and the kings, they came to attack David. And David disguised himself and ran away. And he ran to Cave Atila. David was in the Babylon and discontentment. Men in adversity, men that were in death, that were broke, that were sick, that were frustrated. They gathered themselves to David. Guess what? The Bible did not tell us the sermon that David preached to them. But the Bible made us to understand that in the end, we know what David told them. The Bible said they were the mighty men of David. What makes a man mighty? It's not about the noise, it's about the quality of information that is listening to on a daily basis. He said, that opens my ear morning by morning. There is something about the ears. Listen, there are many gates in the realm of the spirit. One of the biggest gates to your life is your eyes. Your eyes are windows to your soul. What you continue on, how do you enter into masturbation? They saw something. How do people begin to... Listen, some people run mad because they heard something. In Kenya, cantonment bomb blast. Do you remember that bomb blast? Some people ran into the canal because they have the sound of the bomb. A deaf man will not run into the canal. Are we together? Listen, some blind people are more advantage than people who have eyes but they cannot see. Because the temptation to lost for a for a body is no more that they can't see. But the eyes and the ears are not gave you are windows to your soul to impute the soul. A software. If you are into IT here, there is something they call coding. Coding. <laughs> when the word of God becomes the code of your life, you will swear. It's not a prayer, but you will swear. Hallelujah. Daniel 11 32. Those that do it get against the covenant shall be corrupt by flattery. But the people that do know, that do know, I do not know.
day. Fresh him with the white press. Why? Because an information has not been granted. But one day, just like today, somebody say one day. Somebody say one day. Listen, in the, in the ministry of Jesus, there are days and there are certain days. Not every day is everybody's day. But I pray for somebody here, today is your day. Gideon, the angel looked at him and the Bible says, the angel built his face upon him. That was an impartation. Because every time the Lord looks upon you, it's an impartation. Father to child, spirit to spirit, lighted by heart. You know what I mean? Sometimes God does not speak audible voice. He doesn't even speak into your ear. But as you open the word, it is his spirit and your spirit communicating together. That means God can speak without talking. The word. Gideon. And the angel said, Thou mighty man of water. You need to shout, of water. Wow. Gideon has never heard that before. None of the rabbis or the doctors of the law ever told him that you are a mighty man of valor. Nobody ever told Gideon that you have potentials and that the world is waiting for you. The only thing you do, there is a problem. Everybody is in adversity. There is coronavirus. You can't make progress. Your family back now. There is problem in your family back now. Oh my God. The Bible says if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are. And all things have become. That means the day you go born again and you receive the Holy Ghost, you change bloodline. They told you, John, you are a mighty man of power. He just said, Me, sir. No, sir. If I'm a mighty man of God, how is this thing happening to our family? Because some of us, it's your history that has limited you. It is what your mother told you that has limited you. It's what your grandmother told you about your father that ran away that has limited you. But listen, I want to announce to you today because the Bible speaks about the ministry of the blood. He said the anointing does not massage the yokes, he breaks the yoke. I pray. Every yoke that has been placed upon you by enchantment and divination, I declare the name of Jesus, they are shattered now. The reason of the anointing, every yoke shall be destroyed. Listen, words can put you upon the earth. That's why the psalmist has to say, there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there divination. Listen, every word you hear that contradicts the will of God for you is a lie. Can I say that again? A lie is not only what is not correct. Anything that contradicts God's will for your destiny is a lie. <laughs> so if somebody tells me you, you will die young. What is he alive? Is he alive? Is he alive? If they tell you you will not be to fulfill your days, what is it, sir? A lie. If they tell you you will not rise, it is what, sir? A lie. If they tell you you are a fat about, all by mistake and all kinds of funny things, listen, it's a lie. A lie is not just what is not correct. A lie is anything that contradicts the word of God for your life. Please let's celebrate that that is around us. Well done, sir. Glory to God. A lie is anything that God has not said about you. Can we focus? Are we together now? That's a lie. Now, as I'm speaking to you, explain your life. What did they say? Somebody said, well, the doctor said, uh, my mother said, my father said, listen, who said that they come to pass? When the law commanded him not to pass, whose report will you believe? The Bible says, "What well, believe the report? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? If you believe the report of the Lord, the arm of the Lord will be revealed to your direction. If you don't believe the report of the Lord, the arm of the enemy will be revealed to your direction. Hallelujah. Somebody is distracted. Are you distracted? Alright. Have you not known? Number two, have you not heard? The everlasting God. The Lord. There's no time to share of the everlasting God. It's a revelation of you. The Lord, Adonai. The creator of the ends of the earth. Neither faint nor is weary. Is understanding. Is unsearchable. Verse 29. Let's read verse 29 together. Very quickly. One to read. He gives power. 
says in 2 Kings 4, he says he was a very powerful man of God. He said, but he was a leper. Every time Paul is introduced in scripture, it's a change of direction. That means if the Bible says and the centurion was a great man, he was the head of one battalion. But that means that statement is about to change. And that's why he had praying at every point in my life. Listen, this one now is a positive point. Thoughts does not always have to be negative. It depends on who is behind the thoughts. You are delayed. Everybody has been that you should have seen that thought. Thoughts. Thoughts. But they that wait. That's the difference. That's the difference between the eagle and other birds. Listen, eagles don't run. Have you seen eagle on the street? The one, those ones you are seeing are not equal though. Those little little ones that are just are you equal. Equal in your neighbor, just play like play with lizard. Equal catching lizard. Equal catching lizard. Not for me. It's not equal. It's for the It's not equal. You know what equal is? You don't see equal on the ground most times. It's on the mountain top. Eagles don't move around calivanting without direction. Eagles are visionary birds. An eagle can see more than 12 miles. Do you know what it means for an eagle to stay here and be seen? Uh, I don't know about 12 miles east from here. But I know that when an eagle stands on a peak and it begins to gaze, it can zoom so far that what you can see standing on the tree, an eagle will see it easily and clearly. That's why an eagle will be upon a mountain and it will capture a, a fish in the water and it will dive straight. Because eagles are visionary birds. Eagles are precise birds. Now the Bible says, those that wait. Listen, brothers and sisters, there is a temptation in our generation to give in to the seduction, seduction of all. But all is useless if there is no vision. All is to marry. Yeah. To marry is easier. It's, listen, in Nigeria, Pastor Bola was telling me, I know that they can borrow you money for burial. They can also borrow you money for wedding. Borrow you money to fulfill destiny on another level. Mm-hmm. They can even borrow money on your behalf too. You already are married, but you are not prepared for what? Listen, that you have money for it does not mean you are prepared for it. There is a psychological preparation to anything that will lead to greatness in this life. Those that wait, listen, in the kingdom of God, waiting is wrong. Waiting is equal to running. Running without the grace of God is activity. You, you'll be running on the spot. Waiting is running. Why? Because when you wait on the Lord, what happens? It renews your strength. How do you wait on the Lord? In the place of prayer and fasting. I believe in the power of prayer and fasting. I believe it. Too much. Waiting on the Lord. Spiritual authority of my life tells you, ah, why don't you do it like this? Or don't do it yet. You say no. God has spoken to God. God has spoken. If it's only the anointing we need to make progress, all of us will not be where we are. The anointing without wisdom is this. He says, wait on the Lord. How do you wait on the Lord? You retreat. Anytime you are not seeing a pattern in your life that is not consistent with what God has told you. Don't go and start begging everybody to help you. You have told everybody except the Holy Ghost. Retreat. Ah, I'm looking for school. Retreat. Listen, if God could send ravens to minister to the prophets in the book of Cherith, God knows your address, even if there's no GPS. Ravens by the such are one of the stingiest of beds. And God sent ravens to bring food to a prophet. You think God does not know where you are? And guess what? He does not only know where you are, he's right here with you where you are. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Oh, for the salvation. He will then conquer the grave. Jesus, come. Wait on the Lord. I want to charge you tonight. Wait on the Lord. If the Bible says they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Do you know what it means to renew? How many of you have used data yet for data? Data. If you have not used, don't worry, you don't have to. Those of you that have used data, let me. 
Do you know that? Then I used to finish. <laughs> Somebody say yes, like the data is about to finish. <laughs> then now finish it. Now, if you have to be and you want to download a file of 2.1 gig, you know there's problem. You know what? It will be showing you you are now on 1.97 kilobyte, but it will now remain small. Then if it's empty here, you are using it. Oh. They will now send the first as a dear customer. You have 50 MB left. Some people that the, the reaction of life to them is telling them they have 20 MB left, but they are, not, they are trying to see that way. They will remain like that, climb the window, be looking for services. The problem is not service, it's lack of data. The problem is not lack of service, it's lack of water. It's lack of data. One time the friend was looking for a house to rent. And then he said, possibly like we are saying, okay. It's not that there's no house. There's no, there's no money. If you have money, you see us now and now. Could it be that the reason why you have not experienced certain breakthroughs is because you don't have data that can sustain that level of greatness? Because if you can't, sometimes the delay, the delay that happens in our lives is because God is, even in His mercy, helping us to wait on Him. Because we don't know how to wait on Him. That you can see, we wait on Him, does not mean you know how to wait on Him. In the kingdom of God, your assignment is to serve His purpose. Do what servers do, they wait. Servers wait and wait and serve. That's what they do. They that wait, not on men. Pastor, some people will go to pastor. The pastor, eh, I'm trying, I want to gain admission. I'm praying you. Pastor, I'm not getting admission, but I'm praying you that God will just supply. It's a lie. Just say, Pastor, help me. Instead of lying, so that pastor will not say, mm, and I feel moved. <laughs> Have you told God first? That's what I'm talking about. If you don't tell God that you tell me, you will look like a devil. After a while, the book of Proverbs will fill in your life. That the next time you visit your neighbor, you say, Cross. Hello, man. Wait on the Lord. As you wait on the Lord, if you have a gifted type, you have gifts, but you are waiting on the Lord. Listen, it is not Facebook marketing that will announce your anointing. Okay. Okay. Absalom thought he was the best. He went to the city gates and he tell him, Wow, there are Anaka, I'm okay, wow. If my daddy can help, I want me to help me to adjust her. Be careful of that suggestion to, that tells you not to wait. That tells you you are better than those that have gone ahead of you. And you are the one that everybody wants to hear. It's, it's, it's from the serpent. Satan was in the only. Who knew whether God would have been in Satan's life? What is that thing that dies, dies in it? If it is so willing, I agree. But it's not so willing. But there is that, that rush. And you don't have peace. But there is that rush. So that we can prove to men that it is working. Listen. If people are impressed and God does not approve it, it's a waste of life. It's a waste of life. Because in the end, whatever you accomplish outside of waiting is nothing. Jesus said, for without me, you can do no, that means even if people can say, wow, God said, as far as I am concerned, it's what, sir? Why should we be able to cut that nothing? And then stand before Jesus on that day and then he said, I don't even know what you are doing. We can't say that demons must be wait. They that wait on the Lord, number one, shall renew their strength. Now in research, the eagle used to go on retreat. Eagle go on retreat. Christians don't go on retreat. And the one that talk about is people will run. They say they have they have one million seven and run. Hmm. Hmm. For 40 days, the eagle is going to go to the peak of the mountain, hide around the cave, and use the peak to bring out every feather in his body and break the peak on the rock till the peak removes with blood coming out. That's the eagle. For 40 days, it will stand vulnerable to attacks and under the sun and under the boat. And then it begins to grow new feathers. Why? Because every time transformation is about to happen, you must let go of the old. You cannot receive new wine skin, new wine with an old wine skin. God cannot increase your level if your mindset has not changed. In the book of Genesis, the Bible says, For God has not caused it to rain upon the earth, for there was no man to till the ground. That means God Himself, He does grows until management is in place. Increase!
increase can come, but if you don't have the stamina, increase can destroy. Popularity is nice, but if you don't have the discipline, popularity will make you assume that you don't need to grow again, and then you will remain there, and in the kingdom there is no overtaking. So the little go here, and then the air begins to grow again. And after a while, it swells. It doesn't swell at the same level, it swells at the higher level. I pray after this youth annual conference and convention, you will change levels. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me give you the price of greatness, and then we'll pray. I don't want to overshot my time at all. The price of greatness. Because when you look at the ego, you see greatness. Greatness. We will just use the acronym D D D. It's going to be five Ds. Number one price for greatness is the price of discovery. The price of discovery. Jeremiah never knew that he was going to be a prophet. He didn't know. But one day, the word of the Lord ah, may the word of the Lord come to you. The word of the Lord. Or who was it for Jeremiah? Or your own who me and I share the word of God came to Jeremiah. Listen, it does not matter where you are, the word of God can locate you. I was about that was in the still room that the word of God came. May the word of God come to you. The, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Before I found you, I knew you. And before you came forth from the womb of your mother, I ordained you to be a prophet to the nation. And Jeremiah was not a prophet, he was a parrot. Because Jeremiah's response revealed that he was a parrot. Jeremiah said, They said, I, ah, ah, he didn't even let God finish what he was saying. Jeremiah said, Ah, I need it. How that? God said, This book is not for gossip, it's for the gospel. You are not a parrot, you are a prophet. You are a prophet. There is an anointing upon your life. Oh, Jeremiah, can you see it? I don't know what I'm speaking to. There is an anointing upon you. Can you design it? Do you know it? Have you discovered it? The price of discovery. Labor to discover first before you begin to run. Because if you run another, on another man's day, you will not receive a price at the end of the journey. There are people today who are not called to be pastors, who are trying to be pastors. There are people today who are not called to be uh, evangelists. Of course, everybody should do the work of an evangelist. But it's a calling. Do you understand? It's an office. There are those who say, look, me, I want to be a prophet because uh, the way Baba, the way Baba comes, you know, you're a brother, I'm not going to use Baba for prophecy. It's not Baba came. When Baba goes, Baba goes, ah, how are you? I say, I just like the way I want to tell you that I don't know about it. You ask Baba the price he paid. To be able to even see the level of the spirit is problem sometimes. Because when you want to sleep, God will open your eyes and you see how you must address it. For every ordination, there is a consecration that packs it. There is a price to the, you must discover. Okay, so very quickly, how do you discover the ordination of God, the call of God? The gift of God, the assignment of God for your life as an ego. Number one, to discover the assignment of God for your life, go back to the one that made you. The Bible says your maker is your husband. He's your maker. Go back to God and say, Oh Lord, show me who I am. Show me who I am. So that I don't think like anybody else. Show me who I am. The best you can become living like another person is second best. Nobody can be like Lionel Messi. If you like me like this, you are not Lionel Messi. See, on the streets, there are a lot of people trying to be Ronaldinho and you be like, the boy is there is he. God didn't call you to be another Ronaldinho. God called you to be who you should be. I know who God says I am. Are you sure? It's not a song. And do you know what you are talking about? Because when challenges come to harass your conviction, a lot of people you cast where boys are separated from the men. A lot of people say, God called them to be this week. After two years, graduating and there's no job. And they say, oh God, uh, which God is for the devil to die? <laughs> say, 
Satan can quote Bible for you to lead you out of the out of the plan of God for your life. Satan, he quoted Bible for the word of God. He quoted Bible for Jesus. You think he will not go back for you? You think everything that you are seeing that Bible verse is back in the news is God? <laughs> Discovery. Number one, go to God and cry. Look at the check. Ch- it is called the night of Jacob. Jacob cried. Abba. And the angel said, Ah, it's about to become the breaking of the day. What's your name? And Jacob said, Jacob. He said, No. Your name shall be changed from Jacob to Israel. That means from the womb. God didn't call him Jacob. God's plan was actually Israel. But Israel would have remained inside Jacob as a seed, never to see the light of the day until he had an encounter. May you have an encounter in the name of God. Number one, this call Go to God in prayer. Number two, do a personal self examination. What gifts do I have? Some parents don't even know what God has called their children to do. That's failure. What gifts do I have? What traits do I see in this child? Don't say, Oh my mommy, prophet, don't let the people have been. Who told me that the gift of prophecy is anger? Is anger a fruit of the spirit? I hope you know Elijah was angry, but uh, uh, Jeremiah was a gentle prophet. In fact, Jeremiah was a wicked prophet. So sometimes I have a very easy. He, he may not well be a prophet. But you are saying he's a lie. He must be angry. Okay? <laughs> when the Lord of us Jesus. Discover. What are the talents? You look at the burdens in your heart. What body is in your heart? Who is that body for? Who is the strata? The social strata? Is it children? You may have a children ministry. You just like children. Some children just like you. And you don't know. You just like, what are the people and what should come up and you have an assignment to children. If somebody will be here, you can be shouting at me. What are the people and It's not more. It's that God has an assignment for you among the children. Some of the children will just come and help you. And you check, maybe there is a place for children. There are some people, even though they are giving this, children problem, they don't, they don't like, don't put me in children department. It's a calling. Number two, very quickly, so that we pray. There is no time, let's pray. Number two, number one price is what? The price of discovery. The third way to discover, because of time I just give you this as a bonus, is find opportunity to be serving God. Without expecting money in return. All this, I can play people. If they don't give me money, I will not play people. You, you can never be anointed like that. You can never be anointed like that. I'm telling you. See, can I say something before I go to my I I don't know how much time I have. Can I say something, sir? Do you know that if you are not giving to service, the anointing will never touch your head. Never. Because even the purpose of the anointing is greater service. The anointing is not for show. The anointing is not for. Hallelujah. 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 Ah. You will not die like that. The anointing is for sons. So, for instance, when I go to my say, ah, wow, ah, ah, me too. I just imagine I just wear my own suit. And whoever saw it deserves the office of the bishop. It deserves the booty. But there is a price. <laughs> Can you fight demons? No, 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 the blood of you has survived it. Don't worry. It's alright. Go and get the shoot and get the microphone. And then begin to declare. After seven days, you begin to receive it. Listen, it's, it, the anointing is to serve. He said the Moshe Lab, the Lord said, He said, He service. If you are serving God, not expecting pay. Now, if they bless you, you pay, but if they don't give you, don't go on Facebook. Some, some ignorance on Facebook, they go and say, eh, You pastors, you are not doing well. We are serving your church, you are not giving us anything. <laughs> eh, you, you don't know, you don't know. They can all not praise. But if you are in that church, using their keyboard to learn, using their biomaster voice to send to train, and you play for 10 minutes in special program, and they should come and give you a video. Okay? Is that why you won't go to God will not anoint you like that. You will be playing your people, but God will not rest you. You will play for 30 years and nobody's life will change because they will just get offended, bro. Well done. Well done is not a proof of transformation. Somebody should be able to come back and say, Do you know why you are playing with people? I see the song. And that's what is blessing patience. That's that's the anointing. David will play out. Demons will leave people. How many people need to be able to play people that demons are leaving people? Don't worry. Number two. Number one is the price of water. Do you feel like my salmon? Oh, do you feel like that? Somebody shout, hallelujah.
It's the price of determination. Determination. I remember when God told me to go to America. I went to meet my father and I said, Dad, uh, it's time. The Lord has said I should go to America. My daddy, because he is experienced in these things, he didn't say, eh, ah, eh, I'm going to be a little bit. No. He just told me to kneel down. He prayed for me, ministered to me, encouraged me, and gave me instructions. Listen. If you are a woman, man, student of God, and you cannot be instructed by anybody, you will never fulfill destiny. Instructions are the passwords for the fulfillment of your destiny. If nobody is instructing you, but you are the one leading you, you are the only person that is leading yourself. It's a lie. It's not the only person that is not part of it. Because even when Elias' eyes was deep, God still spoke through Elias to someone. So was not all the thing God has rejected me. But David said, I will not touch the Lord's anointing. It's only you that think it's only you and the Holy Ghost that is doing it. The Holy Ghost is wiser than you. You cannot stand the Holy Ghost. But when instructions come from elders and there is blessing, eh? there is that determination that I can't fail. The ego is a determined bed. No matter the storm. Some of us have not seen storm. You don't see one, uh, this small thing. It's not even today, it's just a small one. He just carried your water down like this. You say, hey, what is it? My water down at the end. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> if you enter the desert, it's plenty there. The real storms, one of the beds and human beings are running away. The people says, aha, yes, now my star has shine. Listen, if there is no storm, the potential of the people can never be maximized. Adversity is your biggest opportunity to maximize your potentials. Storms will come. You must expect storms. Seasons change. Time does not remain forever. The end of a season is the beginning of another. Nothing lasts forever. You must prepare yourself that I will be coming. I will press up. Philippians 3 14. I will press up to the heart, to the mark of the icon. Until it be accomplished. Press! Wake up! Study! Be determined! If this is what God has shown you, then believe it. Vision is a picture of your future in the present. Vision is tomorrow in your today. If you are not determined, you cannot listen. There is nobody that did anything great, even in Nigeria, that was not listen. Even things are determined now. You don't know Jesus. You think it's easy to steal now? Go ahead. Do you think it's easy to steal? All those guys that used to collect phone on the road. Do you know the determination it takes? If you collect phone and a trailer hits you, you must stand up and quickly cross the bridge. Listen, if all believers are determined to the point sir, where they enter inside coffee for three days for power and carry their girls' friends on their way. And I don't mind whatever it costs to pay a price for the money power, for money, for mammon, whose God is their belly, who minded things. You have eternal relevance. The Holy Ghost is on your inside. God showed you a vision and you are allowing sleep to rob you of paying the price. That's not wisdom. You are sleeping for nine hours as a youth. What happened to you? What did the doctor say? He said, the doctor said, and the doctor has not said anything. When I gave that push, I remember I said, I don't drink that real. Don't go say I should not be drinking that. My name is not that. That's all right. After six weeks, we split and brought that from the message. I said, I came with that with sugar and granules. Then I will buy 120 million shower fish and cut it into that. Then they said, oh, you don't do. You don't. <laughs> but we were determined. Only three, only about seven or eight of us in my department had a second class offer. I was busy with the work of the ministry. Traveling around, and yet I was number three in my class. Why? Determination. If you are not determined, listen, greatness is not for the weak. But how God made me great. <laughs> the body of greatness, you can't have it. So even when you look at this church and say, oh, look at
look at this picture. Oh, how I wish it's for me. Hey, wait till you know how many hours the man of God and the ministers will be using for counseling every day. And you say, I don't know, share I want to sleep. Uh -huh. There is no overnight success anywhere. Every success is a labor and toil of many years that broke through in one day. It was many years. It's many years. Olympics. I don't know Olympics. No Olympics with the Olympics. Do you know that those guys train for over 10,000 hours? My from Gladwell, my from Gladwell said the 10,000 hours, 10,000 hours training for one gift. Do you know Ludwig Van Beethoven? Beethoven. Beethoven. Musicians, you don't know Beethoven. Okay, do you know the Batch? Do you know, okay, do you know primary school English? Uh, music? Do you know those ones now? And then, okay, do you know them? Don't know them. Ah, fine. Okay. It was a book. Now, all these guys, they prepare themselves for hours. One person can sit down with guitar 12 hours every day playing. They have to be, but you continue this determination. Because in the place of process, nobody will clap for you. There is no camera, there is no microphone in the place of preparation. But like John the Baptist, you are growing capacity in the wilderness until the day of your showing forth. The proof that your day of showing forth will come is what you are doing in the wilderness. If you are faithful in the wilderness, God will allow you to show forth. Resources 
in the direction of your vision. Energy and resources. Remember Ephesians chapter 5 as he said. He says, redeeming the time for the days that he redeeming the time. TV church. If you leave this ministry today, who will miss you? If you leave your subgroup, your department, your class, your school, who will miss you? The one that miss you for your job. Ah, where is you? Yeah, he's the one that has to travel the class. No, sir. A, a Christian will be an equal Christian. You must distinguish yourself. See a star man, Proverbs 22, 24. And Proverbs 12, 24. See a star man diligent in his business. He will start before him. Look at Daniel. Ah, I love Daniel. Start before him. And not in the midst of heaven. It's not a book. It's not by any confession. It's a lifestyle that not get there. Read Daniel chapter 1. The people that have been requested are people that are very sound, intelligent. How many of you need short hand in secondary school? Short hand. Business studies. You know that it is umbrella and helicopter. You say, ah, how is this why umbrella and helicopter? And yet they were to let the all the Chaldeans, difficult language, but they were intelligent guys. If an unbelieving king could use an intelligent person, you think God is looking for dollars? You must work on yourself with diligence. Final point, number one is what? This Great. Number two? Determination. Number three? Discipline. Number four? Diligence. Number five? And then we'll pray. Oh, thank you, Father. For the Lord has us alone. Man can propose that they love. Seleva ora na bakoshi patara. Number five. Decision. Decision. Decisions determine destiny. You can never be greater than your decision. The reason why you are where you are, who you are, is because of your decision. You are in church today because you decided. You are in Christ because you made a decision. You are rich because you decided. You are poor because you decided. The day Jacob decided that this will not continue, he saw a change. The day Jabez said, Ah, no. Oh, that thou would have blessed him. Ah, God said, All right, change his name. He made him great. And there was no honorable that his brethren. Decisions. What will be your opinion? Decision after this confession. Is it to take your life and destiny seriously? Or to remain a mediocre? Evils not change everything on the street. Even if another animal is passing, evil will look at it. Decision to catch this particular prayer. That's the assignment. Be so focused that it is only what you want to achieve that you are able to achieve. Don't allow for this. Decide to be who God has made you to be. Decide to be a person of value. Decide to be a person of substance. Decide to be anointed. Listen, to be anointed is a decision. <laughs> to be anointed, is there anybody that is anointed? Is there anybody? Eh? You think it's everybody? No. Decision. It's a consecration. There is purity. Holiness is not fluke. You decide to be holy. Be only normal of conversation is a decision. That I will not go on WhatsApp and be talking to a lady in the middle of the night and asking her what kind of clothes she wear. There's no need for that one. Leave her and her clothes alone. Decide that you are going to be a great man. You cannot be playing with your 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 hallelujah. Decide. Decide. Decide that you cannot be like everybody else. You'll be different. Because I think it's different. Rest your feet, let's finish. Somebody help tonight. Right? We have to pray. Oh Jesus, said, can you pray and make a decision? We begin with that very quickly. Just take that decision in your heart as we pray tonight. That Father, I do not want to continue in mediocrity. I do not want to continue in procrastination. I do not want to continue in laziness. I do not. I do not want to continue in the flesh. I do not want to continue in fear and timidity. I want to walk with you. That's your first decision tonight. I want to walk with God. I want to be a man of God. I want to walk with God. I want to be true and genuine. I don't want to be faking this Christian life. I want to be real. I want to walk with Jesus. I want to walk with Jesus. 
Is somebody praying? It's not just a decision. It's a decision. Be sure what you are saying. Let God hear your voice for now. Talk to me. Help me, Jesus. I want to walk with you.
of my God, who are actually asking you for an encounter, for the opening of eyes, for clarity, for insight, for encounter, for impartation, for wisdom, for direction, for vision, for ability, for determination, for that government to pursue your way. Let the hand be upon them, man. Let the hand be upon them, man. Let the hand be upon them, oh God. That is the Somebody of a blood condition. The Lord is eating somebody of a blood condition. The Lord is eating somebody of a blood condition. Say, Bella, 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 Bella,
Nazareth. Oh. Oh. Upon this thing, O God, that the enemy has this fear and this punishment against them. As I count one to five, the hand of God is going to touch you and bring deliverance to you. One, two, <laughs> you will never be the same. Three, four, and the other half. The inner masai ke bato yanda hasabali. The 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 inner masa sapa. Nam kata bato. Masa ke bale kata bale. The bato 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 the Thank you. 
Jesus name we pray. Somebody celebrate Jesus and love that and then it leads you to other parts of the of scripture. Now, another better way to study is use a Bible that has center reference. Alright, get lexicons, maybe young, strongs, or vines. You get Bible study tools, keyword study Bible, or new living, life application study Bibles. You get all these study applications. What they do is they help you add to your knowledge and your background of that study. Another way to study the Bible is when you want to consider a chapter or an entire book, you look at the historical analysis. Most people don't have time for that. You look at the history surrounding why they said what they said, so that uh, you don't begin to interpret all of Israel as the church of God. There is a part of Israel that is already history, but there is another Israel which is current Israel. You are in the sons of Abraham, and then there is the nation of Israel fighting war currently. So these are ways to study your Bible. Then get you have to be open to the word, get a writing material, whatever you learn, write it down, attend Sunday school, attend fellowship, let other people who are...